Hey guys, truth is out. See dark secret why Tinubu refused to release the name the Kano that shocked Igbo people. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for stopping by. If you are just joining us, I beg subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Kenneth Okonkwo, a prominent figure in the Labour Party, attributes the prolonged detention of Namdi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, to ethnic prejudice. Okonkwo expressed his views during an interview on a rise television on Wednesday, drawing attention to the disparity in the treatment of Kano compared to other separatists who charges has been dismissed. Okonkwo or argued that Kano has not committed more several offenses than other separatists. He pointed out he pointed out figures like Sunday Ibo, a Yoruba nation agitator, and members of uh, uh, the Boko Haram who have advocated for separate states and in some cases engaged in violent activities have been released. Moreover, some Boko Haram members have been integrated into society and even given favorable positions. Namdi Kanu has not done anything worse than others from different regions, Okonkwa stated. We know about Sunday Igbo, who has agitated for Yoruba nation, and those Boko members who desire a separate country where Western education is forbidden. These individuals have been released, and in the case of these people, these terrorists, they have been uh, reintegrated into the society, given prime jobs. Okonkwa question why Kano's situation is different, attributing it to ethnic bias. There is an ethnic and unnecessary bias keeping that man in jail, he said. He urged the government to release Kano. Whether conditionally or conditionally, the government should be wise enough to release this man. You can release him conditionally or unconditionally, he added. As a lawyer, I have scrutinized legal proceedings and uh, noticed inconsistencies from the High Court to the Supreme Court. Same courts have gra granted him bail and others have dismissed all charges. The government has multiple legal grants to release him and bring peace to the Southeast. Okonkwo continued. He alighted legal discord surrounding Kano's case, noting that various ties of the judiciary have given different rulings on his bill and charges. Okonkwo emphasized that Kano has effectively become a political prisoner and his prolonged detention only serves to elevate his, 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 his status while diminishing the government's credibility. The longer Namdekano is in the prison, the taller he becomes, and the shorter the government becomes, he remarked. The Labour Party chieftain also suggested that releasing Kano would be a strategic move for the federal government. The government should take the intelligent way out by releasing Kano as he did with other separatists. He said, this approach, he argued, will help the de-escalate tensions in the Southeast and uh, first a more, foster a more peaceful environment. Namdi Kano has been in the custody of the Department of State Service, TSS, since his extraordinary rendition from Kenya in June 2021. Is currently facing terrorism charges in the Federal High Court. Kano's detention has prompted widespread calls for his release, especially from stakeholders in the Southeast region who sees his imprisonment as unjust and politically motivated. In June, a significant number of lawmakers, 50 members, 50 members of the House of Representatives, called on President Bola Tinubu. To offer uh, to order Namdi Kanu's release. This appeal was part of a border effort to address the ongoing unrest 
in the southeast and to respond to the concerns of the region's residents. On Tuesday, the Southeast Governors, that was last week for uh, last week or so, uh, they, the Southeast Governors also made a decisive move by resolving to meet with President Tunubu to seek Kanu's release. The Governor's decisions underscores the regional consensus on the need to address Kanu's detention and its implication for peace and stability in the Southeast. The Southeast region has witnessed a switch in violent activities with gunmen enforcing a sit at home order on Mondays to demand Kano's release. These actions have disrupted daily life and economic activities as is baiting the region's instability. Okonkwo's statements reflect a broader sentiment of frustration and injustice felt by many in the Southeast region. His call for Kanu's release is part of a growing chorus of voices urging the federal government to take action to release the uh, to, to resolve the situation. The hope is that a resolution can be found that will not only secure Kanu's release but also pave the way for greater peace and reconciliation in the region. The unfolding situation places significant pressure on the federal government to address the underlining issues of ethnic bias and political marginalization that have fed the current crisis as a cause for Kano's release grow louder. The government's response will be crucial in determining the future stability of the Southeast and the border uh, Nigerian polity. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.